Kale, so today I'm going to be talking about my favourite apps for learning Spanish and in my opinion the best ones for learning Spanish. I have a whole Spanish folder on my phone and it looks like that, I'm not sure if you can see. And these are all the apps that I use that help me learn Spanish. I'll be going over a few apps that are personally my favourite and what I use on a regular basis. I'm not going to be speaking Spanish in this video because I do not want to embarrass myself. I haven't quite got the accent sorted out yet. But I know a few words here and there thanks to these apps. So the first app that I'm going to be talking about, which I'm sure you've heard of, is Duolingo. If you haven't heard of Duolingo, where have you been? Duolingo used to be like advertised everywhere, especially on the App Store. And you don't just learn Spanish on Duolingo, you learn tons of different languages. But Duolingo is a really good one if you want to learn Spanish. I am currently like 18% fluent in Spanish if you want any reference to that, but... <laughs> the next one is also a self-explanatory one, it's the Google Translator. If you haven't used Google Translator, well, once again, where have you been? <laughs> I don't mean that in itself, by the way. It's extremely popular. I wouldn't use it as a reliable source just because sometimes there can be a few muck-ups, but it's great for a beginner and it's great for just learning like one-worded words if you know what I mean. Like if you don't know what dog means in Spanish, then just write in dog and it'll give you the answer. Very simple. I wouldn't use it for sentences just because it isn't reliable. The next app is also a translator. It's Spanish Dict which means Spanish Dictionary. I said that as if it's in a different language. It's not in a different language, but it's got D-I-C-T, which means dictionary. <laughs> it's a great dictionary. It is honestly amazing. It tells you whether a word is feminine or masculine, and it's it's just amazing. The next app that I'll be talking about is what I use in my Spanish class and this isn't just a Spanish app, this is an app for everything and anything. It's Kahoot. If you've heard of Kahoot then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But Kahoot is basically where you pick a topic and then you get like maybe your friends or your whole class if you're a teacher or even a student and you get them all to join with a code and then you pretty much are fighting to win in a way. So it comes up with a question like, how many apples are in this picture? And it has either one, two, three, four, five, or however many apples there are. Whoever picks the right answer the quickest gets the most amount of points, and everyone can pick that answer if they want to. They just get less points depending who the fastest was to click on it. And at the end, it will tell you who wins, and it's pretty much just competition-like type thing. So that's Kahoot. It's an amazing app when learning Spanish because there's tons of different topics on the website where you can choose which one you want because there's like heaps of them Spanish related so yeah. And the very last app that I'll be talking about today is Babbel. Babbel is a Spanish speaking app. It's not just Spanish from what I can remember because I got it ages ago. I think you can like learn German and stuff like on the app. I chose the Spanish one. I've used it a couple times and it's heaps easy. It's heaps easy to understand. So if I didn't have Duolingo handy, I'd definitely use Babbel. So yeah. So that was an extremely short video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you let me know. In my opinion, these are the best apps for learning Spanish if you're a beginner. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, I'm going to go now. Bye.